I feel like um, I'm the lucky one that gets to care for her and, and help get her um, on her feet again. Now check out this story tonight. This dog was really badly hurt in Anderson County and is now getting a second chance at a better life. The woman you just heard from there and two others took her in. It's Belle the Chihuahua, abused and left behind on a road in Easley. Seven on your side's Christine Brown shows you how a community is helping her on her road to recovery. She was shot by BBs, run over and dragged, but Belle kept fighting. Blood was coming out of her mouth and she was covered in blood. The now healing pup was found almost two weeks ago by two animal rescuers on an easily road. We were trying to run away from her, went down in a ditch, laid down for a little while. As soon as Julie got closer, she ran away again. After a short chase, the rescuers were able to wrap Belle up in a blanket and calm her down. They took her to Magnolia Veterinarian Hospital with bruises and wounds all over her body. Perfect example of, uh, of the bad that can happen and the bad that happens all the time to animals that we don't even know about. Robin Moore saw a picture of Belle from one of the rescuers and immediately wanted to help. She decided to give her a new home. I think that she's supposed to be with me. And take Belle to the vet for any treatment she needed. Jody, knowing how squeamish I am, she said, you'd be able to do that. I said, I'll do what I have to do. As soon as word got out on Facebook, several wanted to pitch in. Now, Robin says it's cost about $30 to get her fresh bandages here at the Magnolia Veterinary Hospital every day. But she hasn't had to pay for those expenses because friends and strangers are pouring out support and paying for those bills. Everyone loves her and, and wants her to do well because I think what she's experienced is the bad side of what people can do. You no, know, she doesn't understand the good and all the love that's coming her way. Robin says Belle gets sugar wraps on all her paws and will need new wraps for at least another month. She believes in no time Belle will be back on all fours. Now she has a whole new family along for the fight to help her heal. Oh, she's going to have a, a very charmed life from here on out. In Anderson County, Christine Brown, seven on your side. Cute dog, though. Bell's rescuers don't know who's responsible for her injuries, but the dog's new owner says they're working with police to find out. Robin hopes Bell's case will bring more awareness to animal cruelty cases and how they're handled in South Carolina. Speaking of which, South Carolina has some of the weakest animal cruelty laws in the whole country. Lawmakers push for new bills each year to make changes, but most of them don't pass. One of them did, though, this year. It increases penalties for repeat offenders who were found guilty of animal abuse. One bill's already been introduced for next year that would try to prevent puppy mills by setting standards for commercial 